In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make your very own non-alcoholic birch beer using birch bark and twigs and catkins, and we're going to make a syrup. It's delicious. Okay, so here's what you'll need. If you're using fresh birch, you'll use two to two and a half cups of cut up birch twigs and catkins. If you have dried bark, I'd use about half that amount. You'll also need one quart of filtered water, two cups of sweetener of choice. I used honey in this video. You could use sugar, maple syrup, coconut sugar. I haven't tried stevia, I don't know if that would work. Um, xylitol would be an interesting option because it is made from birch and it has no sugar content. Or you can even use birch syrup cooked down from the sap of birch. You'll want to have some seltzer or sparkling water on hand to mix the syrup with. A stainless steel saucepan to cook everything in. A glass measuring cup. A spoon or spatula for stirring a fine mesh strainer, and bottles or jars for storage. After you've cut up your branches, twigs, and catkins, place them in a saucepan. Add about one quart of filtered water. Put this on the stove at a low heat and simmer gently for about 20 minutes covered. Check on your decoction and then cover and let it steep overnight. In the morning, put the decoction on low heat again and just gently steam it to reduce the amount of liquid. Your kitchen's gonna start smelling really good soon. The reduction time can take a couple of hours. You wanna reduce the contents by about half. So if you start out with a quart, you'll want about two cups of liquid in the end. Strain off the liquid and compost the twigs. You could also try infusing them again in some water. You can have like a nice weak tea from this. Add equal parts sweetener of choice. and then put them back in the saucepan to just gently warm them to combine. Undiluted, this syrup is very sweet. You can add to one cup of seltzer about one eighth of a cup of syrup or less, depending on your own tastes. You could also add this to cocktails, drizzle it over ice cream, or make a classic birch beer float. Cheers and enjoy.